Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and a happy Friday to you all and uh, I wish you all a great ho upcoming holiday season and uh, and I wish all of them uh, across the globe a happy Christmas and a advanced happy new year and hope your new year uh, brings in a lot of immense joy and uh, success in your uh, personal and future professional careers. So let me begin with the actual uh, context of this video. So um, I'm going to speak about a pretty important topic that is uh, on whether sodium minzoate a preservative added in health nutrients, uh, sorry, on health supplements uh, is going to cause harm to your health or not. And uh, so basically uh, I'm more focused towards the uh, health supplements that are more enriched with vitamin C uh, that is also called as ascorbic acid uh, in chemical terms if I would want to define it and uh, this particular sodium benzoate so what is it exactly so it is a man-made chemical compound uh, that is added as a preservative um, to make sure the uh, product longevity increases and it is uh, safeguarded from bacteria uh, in uh, any sort of fungus or anything of that sort of any uh, harmful microorganisms so uh, again the main uh, focus is that like I have seen uh, many people who are uh, hesitant to consume uh, these health supplements like for example let's say I recently posted a video on uh, Chawan Prash and its health benefits and uh, its ingredients mostly having 90% uh, of uh, plant medicines and as well as uh, natural herbs and uh, and plant related uh, compounds uh, that const constitutes of the fact that it is a natural and organic product and uh, so just exclusion of the fact that it has a preservative in the form of sodium benzoate and uh, amla being uh, the majority of the uh, substituent in the ingredients list so when what happens when uh, this uh, sodium benzoate uh, gets in contact with the vitamin C element that is the highlight of the product uh, I'm just using the example of Chawan Prash uh, which is highly enriched with vitamin C in the form of Amla and uh, so people have a misconception that uh, the health supplement that has uh, been loaded with a lot of vit vitamin C uh, enriched elements uh, gets in contact with sodium benzoate or reacts with sodium benzoate and uh, forms a carcinogenic substance called uh, benzene uh, which is nothing but a cancer causing agent so when when we consume uh, these uh, type of uh, vitamin C supplements or uh, immune booster supplements uh, that is uh, high in uh, vitamin C and also if you see uh, if you notice there is a preservative um, called sodium benzoate people get scared thinking that uh, sodium benzoate will react with vitamin C and uh, cause benzene a carcinogenic, uh, carcinogenic substance uh, again in other words it is a cancer uh, cancer uh, stimulating substance okay and uh, people have these type of misconceptions and uh, in this top I mean in this uh, motive I would just uh, let everyone know uh, what is the mechanism and how it works overall so uh, basically if you see this uh, particular preservative which is uh, sodium benzoate so it has been FDA approved food and uh, drug administrate uh, administration in USA actually approves all these uh, ingredients if all are safe and safe to consume by humans so uh, this particular product Chavan Prash if you take as an example so it has been FDA approved that means FDA allows 0.1% of concentration of sodium benzoate in every products which means uh, it is very uh, I mean it is added at a very low concentration so it has no capability uh, to convert into benzene uh, when it gets in reaction with vitamin C which means it is of a low concentration and you can safely consume it without any hesitation and without any uh, 
misconception i mean you need not spread this misconception with others like if you just go google it it will show it will definitely show up that uh, uh, sodium uh, benzoate reacts with vitamin c and uh, produces a carcinogenic substance in the form of benzene that is a cancer causing agent i agree to that but however it should be that uh, both should be at a same level of concentration so sodium benzoate should be at a higher level of concentration uh, in equivalence with vitamin c so vitamin c will be 90% in the uh, in the form of uh, chavan prash if you are consuming it as a health supplement so it has a uh, 90% of vitamin c per uh, per consumption per dose consumption so if if you uh, if you say that uh, sodium benzoate is going to mix with vitamin c and can uh, can i mean produce cancer causing agent in the form of benzene that is totally incorrect so it has to be like both has to be at the same level of concentration however in this supplements case it is just 0.1 percentage of uh, benzene uh, fda allows and approves so in, there is no way that uh, this is going to do any sort of harm to your body and also uh, today i had a chat with one of uh, our general physicians from medibuddy app and uh, for which i did some medical tests uh, i got a blood report and everything was fine and i had a call with uh, uh, the one of uh, the finest doctors from uh, clinic and uh, i had a chat with him and i asked him the same question and uh, so let me show you the chat conversation that i had uh, with the doctor and he clearly explained that uh, lower concentration of sodium benzoate on products will never cause any harm to the body and it's and it becomes incapable to produce a carcinogenic substance uh, like benzene so let me show you the conversation that i had and i'm just going to hide the doctor's name uh, due to uh, privacy so see let me show you the conversation i had with the doctor so sorry about it you yes, see so this was the conversation that i had so if you see uh, okay so he clearly says that uh, low concentration is not going to be uh, much of a harm uh, so that's all and another th hi guys like i said uh, fda food and drug administration department have set a uh, concentration level of 0.1 percentage uh, by weight of the product okay so that's how it is calculated the concentration level which i am talking about is limited to 0.1 percentage by weight of the product and uh, another thing is that our body does not accumulate uh, this particular uh, preservative sodium benzoate rather it excretes uh, via urine uh, within 24 hours of consumption so that adds it to its uh, security and safety measure and also so also another thing is that the world health organization has uh, set up an estimation that uh, daily intake can be between uh, 0 to 2.2 uh, mg uh, per pound weight of uh, human body as well as uh, between 0 to 5 mg uh, per kg of uh, human body weight so that's the estimation and uh, generally uh, we would not exceed this daily uh, intake uh, limit set by uh, who and uh, so that again adds to the safety uh, measure and security measure that has been uh, set by fda and who so it should not so at the end of this uh, video what i am going to say is um, so taking a health supplement rich in vitamin c that has sodium benzoate in it is not going to cause any harm to you so you can uh, safely take it uh, with the uh, prior consultation of uh, doctor medical doctor and uh, take an expert advice for sure that's what i would recommend and uh, then safely uh, consume this not a problem at all and uh, hope this uh, video turns turned out helpful to you, all of uh, the viewers who have watched this video uh, until the end and uh, if you like this video please hit the support button and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, let until we meet in the next video uh, stay safe eat healthy cheers tata bye bye see you hi guys sorry i could not add the 
clear view of the chat conversation I had uh, with the doctor today. So here is the chat conversation. So see, I have asked uh, the doctor. I had a concern. So see, guys, I had uh, posted a question that I had a concern that it has a preservative called uh, sodium benzoate which says online when mixed with vitamin C can produce a carcinogen called benzene is it true and if so can it cause harm to our body I asked him to advise so he said it won't that's only on high con concentration like I said so this supplement would have a very low concentration and which is as per FDA approved and then I thank the doctor for the clarification and uh, so that's how I made this video with proper consultation you can definitely go ahead and uh, and take this up.